Often you might be doing a study and then you might want to do another one with exactly the same or very similar elements. In that case, you've got a number of options that you can do to save the descriptives that you'll have down here in your activities area. Probably the easiest way is just to bring up your current study, in this case, buff part, and just do a file and do a save as. And I'm just going to put it out into my uh, temporary area here. And I'm just going to call it uh, demo one. Okay, and that would be the name of your new study, demo one. Then you want to get rid of your current observations. So you go to the column on the left hand side here and you just click on that. You'll see it'll change the color of the row. Go all the way to the end of your study and then do a shift click on that column. And it will highlight all of the observations in that particular study. Just come up here, hit the X here, and it'll ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. And then you've got a brand new study here. And of course you want to load another video. So just go file, select video, and go and pick your new video here that you're going to use. And that way you can use exactly the same uh, activities in here. Another way to do the same thing, although there's a possibility you might miss out on some of the elements. You have your observations here and then go to the summary. Now what's going to happen is it's going to summarize it according to the sequence of the elements in the activities area here. So you can see I've got five elements here, the last one sample for video here. Now it, it is not used in the current study. So as a result, it is not appearing in my summary. So as long as you know that you might be missing some activities, you can do this technique. And then I would do the Excel export as displayed and that'll dump it out to Excel. So here's your data out into Excel with the elements. Now remember these elements here, there's four of them here, whereas initially I had five in my activity list here. So I'm missing the sample for video because that activity was not used in this study. It's only the activities that are actually used that are presented here. But it gives you another way of doing it. So if I do a new study here, and I clear it out, so here I've got a completely new study. What I can do is go to the Excel export and just copy the activities from here and come back over here to the Video Timer Pro. Use the option in the toolbar here, Import Activities, Import from Clipboard. And there you have your activities again back in here, ready to use. Again, just remember, you might miss one or more activities in this particular approach if you don't, have not used that activity in the study you're bringing it from.